In this video lesson, we're going to take a look at some Pro Tools system and session management tips and tricks. Let's head to the Pro Tools setup menu and let's head to Playback Engine. Often, if you're not hearing anything in Pro Tools, your Playback Engine has been changed for one reason or another. Now, if you're not using a separate USB uh, digital audio interface, then you'll pro you're probably using your built-in output and it should be okay. I, here in my home studio, have got a Scarlett, a Focusrite Scarlett 6i6 USB interface, and it's become disconnected from that, so I'm going to change it to the Scarlett 6i6. Yes, I do want to save it. Okay, that. And we're good to go. Let's take a look at hardware buffer size. And here we have a pull-down menu with a range of 1,024 samples for the largest to 32 samples for the smallest, and a number of settings in between. I believe Pro Tools normal hardware buffer size is 256 or 512. Think of your hardware buffer as a bucket that needs to be filled with samples and until that bucket is full no samples are getting out the other side for playback for you to listen to. So if you are recording a vocal and you have it set to 32 samples, that bucket has to fill only 32 samples before the audio going through Pro Tools comes back to your headphones, an almost imperceptible delay. With higher settings like 1024, which is appropriate for mixing and editing with high track counts and lots of plugins, you'll notice that when you press spacebar, there's a slight delay between spacebar and the beginning of playback. That's because the buffer bucket has to load 1,024 samples before playback is going to begin and you can start listening. So again, there are times when you want the highest setting 1,024 and there are times when you want the lowest setting 32. And a good in-between setting for just general work when you don't want to wait so long uh, after you hit spacebar for playback is 256 or you can try 512. Another way to address latency issues when recording vocals or guitars is to head to the Options menu and select Low Latency Monitoring. My personal experience with this is that it is a bit plug-in dependent. With some guitar amp simulator plugins, Low Latency Monitoring has worked great. With other guitar amp simulator plugins, I've had to resort to my other option, which is to go to my Setup menu, Playback Engine, and change my hardware buffer size to its lowest setting possible, which makes the latency almost imperceptible at 32 samples. Disk cache size right here is the amount of computer RAM you have dedicated to Pro Tools for playback. In other words, the audio that you're recording and playing back goes into RAM first. This can minimize problems with slower hard drives, older hard drives, or badly fragmented hard drives. And of course, it is changeable from the normal setting to anything from 256 megabytes to 12 gigabytes. Typically, the normal setting will suffice for just about anything that you want to do. If you're working with a session that has video and you're unable to see the video, well, two ways to see it. One, go to the Windows menu and select Video right here. And if you're still not seeing it, then you need to enable the video engine, and that, of course, is right here in the playback engine options with enable video engine right there. So again, not seeing video, check your window, video right there, that should bring it up. If still not seeing it, enable the video engine. 